Hi guys, I hope you're all really well. Welcome back to my little channel. So since I last saw you, I have been on a bit of a Primark shopping spree and I've picked up quite a few things so I thought I'd share them all with you to make myself feel a bit better for buying them all and because who doesn't love a Primark haul? They are absolutely one of my favourite videos to watch on YouTube so I really hope you enjoy this. Make sure you give it a thumbs up and subscribe and yeah, here's everything I picked up. Now so because January is inevitably the month that you have the whole New Year, New you vibe going on and I'm looking to book a really nice summer holiday around my birthday and I'm really determined to get abs before my birthday. Um, I've put it out there on my blog and now I've said it on here so I've kind of got to hold myself to that declaration and yeah so I've been forcing myself to go to the gym on the cold 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 nights we've had lately and go to some classes early in the morning. I've done trampoline class which was crazy fun, very mental for like 8am but really fun nonetheless and so I thought I'd treat myself to a few new gym my options. The first that I picked up is this amazing pair of leggings. They're just like your classic black normal legging style and then they go down to have this wrap around detailing that goes all the way down your calves. It's really cutesy, very like balletic. A really lovely option for like a yoga class. I love these. They're really thick. You haven't got to worry about your pants showing through your leggings with these while you're working out and they've got a really flattering thick elasticated band around the waist that kind of Weeks everything in, smooths out your silhouette and makes you feel that little bit more comfortable while you're in the gym. Um, I don't know about you but I'm always very conscious of my tummy area whilst I'm in the gym so having such a large band really helps me feel a bit better. Now I'm absolutely terrible with kind of gym wear options and gym wear is a thing really so when I saw this really cute kind of plain black hoodie I thought I kind of had to pick it up really. It's just a very thin light option that you can just throw on and head to your gym or just quickly layer up if you're getting a bit chilly in a yoga class or something like that. It's really really handy to have and of course being black it's super flattering. Um, I also picked up one of their crop tees for when I'm a bit more toned from their new gym wear collection. This is a really cute dusty pink style. It's got a mesh detailing all across the back which is not as sheer as you expect it to be which is quite good for like keeping everything nicely ventilated especially if you're doing something like a spin class and then it's just got a really cute striped elasticated panel around your rib cage area and your like upper waist just to ensure it doesn't ride up it stays where it's supposed to be and yeah keeps you supported throughout your class this was seven pounds which of course it being primark the whole range is very affordable very accessible but i was especially impressed with the price of this t-shirt because it feels like it could be a lot more yeah i'm excited to wear that when i've got a bit more of a toned tummy and then and the next option I picked up the twin set so I've got the workout top and leggings. The leggings I actually wore to a class yesterday so they're in the wash and I don't have them but um, you'll see the print anyway. It's just this really lovely navy grey camo print with neon detailing around the arms and cut out detailing um, all down the back. It's just a racer back vest and it's just got this sheer panelling there. Um, it does come with its own sports bra attached within the vest which is so handy at giving that additional support along with your usual sports bra or if you do need like minimal support it's just good at offering that there. I absolutely love this print. It's really fun and it looks a lot more expensive than it actually is which is always a win. And then I also picked up one of their skipping ropes. I recently did a class with lots of skipping rope based activities and high intensity interval training. Using these to do like different lifts different stretches and obviously of course to skip and I'd forgotten how much I enjoyed skipping so I picked up one of these. I just thought it was so cute especially the pink and grey foam handles they're just really sweet. And then because I'm really committing to this I saw um I think it was on like Rosie Huntington Whiteley or some gorgeous models um Instagram that they were using these to work out with. Unfortunately I do not know what these are called but I hope one of you does so if you do please comment below and let everyone know. They're just these elasticated ankle band straps that you put on obviously both of your legs and use to lunge with as you go across the room you can kind of crisscross your legs and do different lunges but they just give a bit of extra support and keep your stance straight controlled and just ensure that you've got that consistency there especially in like leg width and things like that which apparently is important so this I will absolutely hate because it's going to cause a lot of pain inevitably but very handy and very good that Primark do such a full and diverse range of exercising tools and kind of assistance bits so yeah I think it might be a resistance band of sorts but I'm not sure. Oddly enough I actually found these 
super cozy socks by the resistance band and because it's been absolutely freezing all month I couldn't resist. They are fleece lined and they are literally the coziest thing. I'm actually excited to put them on now because it's so cold. So yeah these are going straight on my feet after I film this. I also love that they've got this really cute like pom-pom tie detail at the front which is really sweet and um, they've got, do you remember these little anti-slip stickers that you'd have on like your slippers and socks when you were younger to stop you falling over? Um, and then I also picked up another pair of leggings. These are a tight zipped cropped style with um, a waist shaping sash which is very handy. They also have a zip fastening at the back so you can kind of stick your phone in that pocket whilst you're running and not have to worry about it. I really loved this lovely detailing on these. They've got a light pink panelling which is just quite flattering across the calf area and I of course especially love the waist cinching panelling because who doesn't need a bit of shaping around there so these are great. I haven't actually worn them to work out in yet so I'm excited to see how they last and feel throughout a whole workout but I'm really impressed with the fit of them so far. Um, I then seem to have lost all my socks. I came back from the Christmas holidays and all of my socks have just disappeared so I picked up some new ones. These are just a lovely pack of super cozy cushioned shoe liners. They're kind of just your typical ankle socks. Um, and they've just got an extra layer of cushioning here which is really good for obviously your shock resistance when you're running and there's just three pairs in this pack these were just £1.70 which for socks you cannot go wrong and thankfully they're so cheap and cheerful because I don't know what's happened but I have no socks at the moment I then also picked up another hoodie and I don't know what this is called technically but it really reminds me of basically every hoodie that every fitness YouTuber has on while they're out and about it looks like something Nikki Blackerter would wear and I love that it's just again black with rose gold detailing on the elasticated straps around the hood and it's got this sheer mesh panelling through the hood and also along the side with a candy pocket detail. Um, I really like this. I just thought it was a really great piece to have. It definitely gets you in the mindset of being a bit fitter because you certainly feel the part. This has still got the price in. A few of these things I've worn so I did remove the price. This was just £10 which is so reasonable and I'm definitely going to get a lot of wear out of it. And then while I was in Primark I also realised that I don't actually Actually have a gym bag I just kind of have a tote that I shovel my kit in and so when I saw this I just thought it was so adorable it's just a lovely sweet alternative to the very typically dull plain bags that you see about so yeah and so I picked up this really cute light grey satin gym holder it's of course got your classic shorter straps for wearing in the crook of your arm and just carrying around as well as the longer adjustable crossbody strap I did a food shop en route back from the gym the other night and I managed to fit so many things in this bag and and because the strap is so thick on it, it was so easy to carry home. I literally hadn't got any pains. It was really good. So really love this bag. And then I also, obviously not gym related, picked up a new pair of pyjamas. These, I got them out of the pack immediately because I was so excited to buy them, are just a super cute light cream style with these printed grey flowers on them. Um, I just thought they were super sweet and they have a really lovely pink bow detailing on the tops, which is just the sweetest. I love a little pyjama set and and Primark do the best. I then also, on the non-gym related side of things, picked up this denim jacket that I have been after for months and months and months. Um, I think it was across everyone's Instagrams before Christmas, but it's just the sweetest, and ruffles are set to be a massive trend all through the summer, so I'll definitely get loads of wear out of it. It's just this lovely denim jacket with this super adorable ruffle detailing all across the back and down the arms. It is the sweetest thing. I love it so, so much, and I'm so glad I finally got my hands on it because I'm gonna wear it so much. A little bit of cute detailing on a jacket goes a long way and this ticks all the boxes really of everything I could ever want from a denim jacket. I then also thought I would try out one of Primark's sports bras. This is a really kind of classic basic black style with rose gold metallic panelling across the front. Um, this was five pounds and I thought I would give it a try for five pounds. It's got padding within the sports bra as well as obviously the elasticated support and I just thought it'd offer like a really nice minimal support for something like a yoga class um, as I'm doing more and more will come in very handy and then I don't know if I missed this and was under a rock when it all kicked off but my gosh Primark has got a really great and very beautiful beauty collection um, I picked up some really great bits and I'm gonna do a giveaway so so stay tuned to see what you can win and what you need to do to win that um, as there's some good pieces so I picked up this very very oh so Instagrammable little packet here 
Um, this is a lavender flower and salt body scrub with lavender geranium and ylang ylang. It's just a very lovely cutesy um, exfoliator which is sure to smell incredible. I'm so excited to try this out. I also picked up a little pack of cleansing sponges. This was just, as you can see, a pound. I just thought they'd come in so, so handy. And then for £1.50 I picked up this two pack of white cotton hair wraps just to literally put on while I'm doing a face mask. And then I've been so intrigued by this so I had to pick one up to try. It's just one of the facial cleansing pads. This silicon pink teardrop shaped um, pad. I'm really intrigued to try it. I think if it doesn't work well on my face it's definitely going to be helpful helpful at cleaning brushes so one way or another it'll be very useful to me and then because I'm having a horrible moment with my skin this January I thought I would try this massage brush it's just a facial cleanse and massage brush in one and it looks really interesting I then picked up loads of these little bottles because I was so excited and wanted to try them all I got a really cute rose and peony um, perfume oil which smells incredible pop in your bag and apply throughout the day and then because we all need a little January boost I picked up one of their energizing sprays this is just a ginger and lemon option and it really really lifts the mood of the room I also picked up a anti-stress spray and one of their pillow sleep sprays and I mean how cute is the packaging on both of these and then because I've been going to the gym a lot and doing far too many squats my legs hurt so much so I also treated myself to this lovely little pot of massage oil just in case I'm lucky enough to get a massage any point in February because I definitely need one and then because it's been absolutely freezing um, my lips have been so so dry and whilst I was in store picking up these bits and bobs and um, they actually started to really hurt so I picked up this mint lip jelly which smells incredible it's super moisturizing smells delicious and it really did the trick so yeah I was really grateful I stumbled across this when I needed it so yeah that's everything I picked up in store I really hope you enjoyed seeing what I picked up and if you're on a new year health kick and fitness kick do let me know what kind of workouts you're doing because I'm always looking for new ones or new classes or fun things like that as I mentioned I will be doing a little giveaway so as part of my giveaway I'm giving away a coconut lip balm just because this looks super nourishing and probably smells just as incredible as the mint one I've got myself. A anti-stress spray because January was stressful enough. I hope it brings a little bit of calm to your day. And then also one of the energizing sprays just because it's so cold and dark these winter mornings that just having a little something that gives you that boost of energy to get out of bed and go and take on the day is always welcome. So that's in my giveaway too. As well as a lavender scrub, a facial pad and finally one of these cleansing massage brushes. So if you do win this, let me know how you get on with yours and I'll tell you how I'm getting on with mine. So good luck. All you need to do to be in with the chance of winning these lovely little beauty bits is make sure you've subscribed to my channel, you're following me on Instagram and Twitter, which I'll link below. Like this video, of course. And then also just comment below and let me know what your favourite piece from my whole haul is. And I will see you again next time.